25 or probably the 25D or the 23S. I don't know. I've got the 902 engine anyway, the D902. And I pulled the injectors out today and uh, serviced them. They were just jammed up with gunk. And it's a fairly simple process. Uh, you got to undo these three things. And I would take these three out too. The only way you're going to get to that middle one probably is to take the end one off here and probably take this off and take this pair out separately than this one. And then you can get to this and, and to this nut. And then uh, you got to pull the nuts below that off and that loosens up the fuel rail. And the fuel rail has a copper washer below it. And then you move the, uh, the, the these tubes off to the side. Well, I guess you do that to loosen up that nut for the fuel rail. You have to undo this this little guy here, vacuum hose, I guess, and um, pull it pull the fuel rail out over top of that, and just set it aside. You don't have to disconnect anything else. And then you need, on this particular one, we need a 21 millimeter socket to take out the, uh, the actual injector. And uh, it was time consuming. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. And uh, I wanted to take my time. I didn't want to break anything, but I am traveling an hour tomorrow to, uh, and I'll be near a Kubota dealer. So if I broke something, that's why I wanted to get it done today. Uh, I think it's running better, but uh, definitely should be running smoother. But I think I also have to adjust the the valves too. So that'll be the next step maybe tomorrow. Or, yeah, after I get back from uh, my little trip. This is a 2010 BX25 Kubota with the D902 engine. I just pulled the fuel injectors out. And uh, I just separated these parts. Not exactly sure what's going on, but that looks kind of grody in there. And this here is kind of grody in there. Let's focus, focus. There we go. So we'll clean that out, see what's going on. I mean, they fit together sort of like this. And if I look at this piece, it's just that piece fits in there like that. Okay, so we'll, we'll t take this piece here, which I'm pretty sure when I took it apart, it was like that. And then this little pin here pulls out of there. I think. Oops. I can't do two things at once. There we go. Oh yeah, there's the needle, and it just slides in in that direction. So we'll just clean out the gook and see what we see if it does anything. Charge has been running a little bit rough, so uh, I'm not exactly sure. It kind of looks like the fuel goes it's supposed to go through that ick and out this ick. So we'll see what happens. I'll throw some air on it first. Okay, so on this piece, to show you what I'm doing with the old dental tool here and how, how junked up this is, it's, it's scaled. You can probably hear that. It's like going to the dentist. And... Wow. Now, this tool here has a bit of a wedge to it. I don't know if that thing is focusing, but uh, anyway, I make sure the wedge part goes down on the inside edge here without cutting my finger. I've already damaged my hand when I was trying to undo the injector nuts or the uh, injector. Uh, Yeah, I guess it, injector line nuts, that's what I want, I guess. 
Yeah, wow, is that ever stuck? Yeah, I'm definitely I think gonna probably don't need to, you know. I think I will run this just through the ultrasonic just to see if it works on this. That's why I bought the ultrasonic. It's you know cheap on Amazon. Of course, when you order something cheap, it might just be cheap. Wow. Definitely don't want to stab your fingers doing this. Okay, let's just... I don't know if that'll push through. There's definitely something going on in there. Wow. Let's try the bigger one. I don't know. Maybe this is a different size. It's kind of going, but no, there it goes. Yeah, definitely is is scaled up in there. Wow. Hopefully, wherever that's going, I can blow it out with some air. Oh yeah. Wow. I can sure feel that scaled up in there. This should make a huge difference in how this thing runs, idles. Wow, see, I can't even get that in there. Mm. Let's try the little one again. Do a little exercise around that. And try the big one again. Remember, you don't want to go oversize. So, ah, I think that got it. Let's see what it feels like. Oh, that one goes down, so I didn't get it yet. Ah. Oh, sure, I don't want that to break off in there. I guess a guy could just buy a set of injectors. Wow, come on out. Let's go back to a smaller one. Make sure we got the right one. I'm boring you with it. Oh, I got her now. Boring you with this, I guess, but it just shows you, you, you got to really work it. And if you really got to work it, we definitely have a fuel flow problem. Yep, it's coming now. There it comes. There it comes. Sure hope I'm not impacting it in there somewhere. Okay, I'm boring you. Okay, so different tool. Still a dental tool, but I'm getting in here, and there's uh, scaling in this little ring, too. And there's a hole here. So I'm just scraping that gently, trying not to fill the hole. Because I don't want to block the hole with crap. There's, there's the hole there. And it, this was running. It just was running rough. So obviously, this is why, but I don't want to make sure put it back together and then not have it running because then I may as well just buy new injectors right which might be the solution for most people I don't know I like to know what's going on in my engines so I tend to want to repair them take them apart explore and I mean ultimately if I have to wow that crap coming out of there Ultimately, if I mess up, then I just have to buy a new part, right? Because I'm not taking it to the dealer and then have all these charges that I don't understand. Okay, well, let's we'll keep playing with it. Now, there's also holes in there, too. Again, and if I flip it over, there's a hole here, too. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. 
and uh, you know I don't mind saying so if it helps somebody else out that's the only reason I might post a video okay yeah, I don't know if I'm venturing into Never Neverland but I got a, the one of the finest ones here and I can actually go in a fair amount there with that and they were clogged too you can hear it definitely these uh, welding cleanout tools are good and same with this one I went quite a ways there and go up a size I'll go blow that out and uh, hopefully it, it's all gonna work I guess the only worst thing well that one seems to be blocked Okay, that one goes to there. That one seems to go further. Let's see, it goes there. Let's try this one. That's as far as that one wants to go at the moment. And same with that one. That could be part of the manufacturing, but see, that one goes all the way down. I'll play with that and see. Okay, so this is number three here, the one furthest away from the radiator. And we'll just pull this apart. I'm having issues with my phone and that I don't know how to use it, I guess. Okay, so we got some buildup on there. And there's supposed to be a hole here for f fuel, I guess. And there should be a hole in there. That's all full of junk. That's full of junk. So we take this out. That's all full of junk. There's a couple pieces here. The needle is sticking out. I can feel it. Okay. Now, just so that we have a record, that's facing the right way up. And then so is that. So they both face the same. And the needle is in the middle. So we'll take that one off. And we'll see if we can pull that needle out. It sticks a little. Okay. That's what the needle looks like. So we need to clean that out and we need to clean that up. And this other piece, there's a couple of holes there that need to be cleaned out as well. Yeah, okay. And there's a, a hole in here somewhere too. That we've got to find and clean it out. And there's three holes up in there that we need to clean out. That's fun. What also didn't realize till now, there's actually a shoulder here. And I imagine it's a good idea to get, clean that up. That's where the needle sits in. You see the stuff. And obviously not scratching metal, but there's definitely crap in there. Actually, we'll try try the other tool here. Maybe I can get a little sharper in the edges and corners. Yeah, I didn't do this on the other two. Hopefully, it won't interfere in the operation. I'm not going to take them apart and do it again. I'll just be happy to get the tractor back running again. And like I say, it was running when I, before I took this out. It just didn't feel right. There we go. I'll go blow that out with a little air. And move on to the next step. <laughs> 